read on the 16th March 2021. It was also listed as a version among the bills of interest contained in the recent executive communication from the President Muhammadu Buhari DCFR, which was read on this floor on the 19th January 2022. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this bill is time sensitive and when passed will enable us to recover lots of assets overseas. The main objective of this bill is to provide for the establishment of a department in the relevant organizations to manage forfeited assets as well as provide for an effective legal and institutional framework for the recovery and management of proceeds of crime as well as civil forfeitures in non-conviction based sentencing. This bill further makes provision for restraint, seizure, confiscation, and forfeiture of property derived from unlawful activities. Any instrumentality used or intended to be used in the commission of such unlawful activities and for non-conviction-based procedure for the recovery of proceeds of crime. The bill's other objectives are to strengthen and the criminal confiscation procedure by ensuring that the total benefit from a person's criminal activity is calculated and on equivalent amount we are recoverable is confiscated on behalf of the federal government. It also galvanizes collaborative effort among relevant government agencies to implement confiscation proceedings against a convicted person in tracing and forfeiting properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of unlawful activity through non-conviction based for future proceedings. The proposed bill has no additional financial burden on the treasury of the federal government if passed into law. Thank you and I so much, distinguished colleagues. The, the practice or procedure does not state that uh, bills should be debated at the committee level if uh, before they are debated in, in plenary here. Uh, the, the committee, when the bill is referred to the committee for additional legislative um, work, then at that point, the committee can look at it and of course arrange for a public hearing. I, we, we need to be very careful, like advice, that we don't pass a bill that will um, cause more problems for people. But at the same time, we have to pass this kind of bills because we need to sanitize our system. So I will advise here that the, the, committee, the bill be allowed to go for second reading, pass the second reading, and then at the public hearing, let's see what comes out of it. We will still be here if we don't, if we are not satisfied and the committee presents its report, we can, we can reject the, the bill. But let's give it the benefit of the doubt that Nigerians should be able to also participate in the, in the debate about the establishment of the departments. All that I'm suggesting is we must have the agencies specifically mentioned. We don't, we don't leave it in a nebulous form where everybody will just claim, if I seize, I will send. Will that be OK? So I will put the question. Those in favor that this will be now read for the second time, say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Clerk, clerk of the Senate. A bill for an act to make comprehensive provisions for seizure, confiscation, forfeiture, and management of properties reasonably suspected to have been derived from unlawful activities 
and for related matters 2022, second reading taken. And the bill is referred to the committees, to the Joint Committee on Anti Corruption and Financial Crimes and Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters to report by within four weeks. Leader of the Senate.